and welcome to another episode of the people ask about web3 where we demystify different web3 topics and try to make some sense out of this new emerging technology today we are going to have thomas he's the ceo of fly wallet and i'm super excited because he's bringing a topic that is uh, that i actually don't know much about and i'm really curious about how can we facilitate and have sustainable travel using Web3. Uh, uh, usually I have a little bit of a longer introduction because I give my thoughts about the, about the market and everything, but uh, right now I'm just going to pass the ball to you. Uh, maybe let yourself uh, give a little bit of a better introduction and give us a high level overview of what, what are you building and how you got into this space and how can you help people that want to travel with Web3. Awesome, and thank you for uh, your time. Definitely, yeah, definitely, Gregor. Thanks so much for having me uh, on your show. Uh, it's really uh, an honor to be able to share Flywallet anytime uh, that I can, and just um, and just yeah, amazing opportunity. Um, Flywallet, Flywallet is really uh, a project that I hold uh, to heart. We really uh, aim to making travel affordable uh, for all. Um, our just to really take it off the bat, you know, our core objective, our mission is to show that, you know, experiences are worth more than things. And uh, to do that is to help people be able to invest in, you know, um, grow their funds so that travel is actually within reach. Um, Web3 makes this possible. Uh, you know, there really is no, no limits to what we can do. It's really based on our imagination and, uh, and really the community aspect of how we can all bring these projects or these, you know, uh, these experience to life is quick, we, quick question. Sorry, because you said yeah. something that, that, that threw me off. So what is the, why can't, what is the difference between web three and web two? And why, why is there something different? What is the main yeah, underlying I, I, value? Absolutely. I appreciate, I appreciate that question a lot uh, because um, what makes web three is the accessibility, you know, especially when you're offering a financial service, uh, in our case, we're offering financial service for travel, but in general, when you're offering a financial service, you're really limited by jurisdiction. You know, um, if I want to offer savings in Italy and I want to offer savings, let's say in the US and I want to offer savings in Brazil, you know, these are three central banks, three different central banks, three different, you know, uh, jurisdictions that I have to make sure that uh, I'm, I'm regulated in all three of these jurisdictions, which and Web3 makes it accessible globally. You know, how, no does this relate, you how does this relate to travel? Let's say I'm traveling to Bali and uh, I mean, what would be the advantages of using, for example, Fly Wallet and me doing it the traditional way with MasterCard okay. or whatever, PayPal or whatever other method there is? Well, believe it or not, like a lot of um, checkout pages, booking pages, you know, are not accessible in uh, some countries, you know, like some um, payment methods, you know, if I take, you know, West Africa, for example, they go on, you know, a a, a, um, a travel booking page. Like, you know, the payment method cannot be accepted. Although um, we're seeing more and more diversification, you know, in methods of payment, and this is where Fly Wallet, you know, positions itself, and not just the ability to pay for your flights with cryptocurrencies, you know, with stable coins more precisely, um, but you're actually able to save and build up your wealth or build up your, your travel fund to pay for travel. Um, Web3 really enables us to innovate the, the booking experience, you see? Like, uh, instead of going to the page when I have the money already, uh, you know, and stressing about which flight is the cheapest and when, like, Flywater is here to walk you through the process. So take you from before you have the trip, take you step by step, you know, saving every week or every month, you know, build up your travel fund so that then you can book. And just, uh, yeah, Web3 gives you that opportunity to innovate the booking experience. So you guys are basically changing the process of the uh, the user experience. So you're giving That's new right. tools and as well changing the user experience, means, meaning the steps or the whole mental process that would go into exactly. buying a ticket. Mm -hmm. So that is pretty revolutionary. That is just more than just offering a technology that is redesigning and rethinking a uh, a process that is uh, that might be broken right now. 
uh, yep. I, I don't know if it's broken or not because that's the only process that we have. It's so sure. that, that can't really compare it or benchmark it to something else except, for example, like Fly Wallet right now. So I'm 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 starting to understand a little bit. What does it mean that Fly Wallet walks you through the kind of in the months? Say, let's say I want to go to Bali. So uh, what would yeah, be yeah, the yeah. difference of changing this process for me of going to Bali? Let's say I don't have. I don't have the one thousand dollars required for the ticket, and I go on Fly Wallet, and I would find maybe a flight. It's uh, it's uh, the whole process of how the travel industry uh, can you know actually approaches the customer. You know, instead of me empowering you, uh, you know, I tell you, uh, Gregor, that this flight, you know, going to Bali, you know, in uh, three months, you know, like and it, and it's I don't know a thousand five hundred euros, you know, and you're like, you know, okay, but you know, like. 1,500 euros is good. And then another airline says you can get it for 1,200 euros, you know. And just you're getting all of this information of, you know, oh, well, there's this other flight back and forth from Bali that maybe there's two stops, you know, on each route. But, you know, now it's $1,000, you know. Well, that's a good price, you know, and I need that. And it just creates a lot of stress, you know, like, am I getting the right price? Am I, you know, am I going to get the best discount? It just... It kind completely, of blocks completely yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, and even seeing I, the people on the plane and asking them, I'm, yeah, I, I get ask, stressed. The yeah, question. you never ask because I'm always sure that they got the, the cheaper, the, the cheaper price. Absolutely, and it's, just, and it's just like it creates a very intimidating process. And then you're like, oh, it's in three months. Like you know, a thousand dollars, a thousand euros. That means I have to start saving three hundred per month. That means I can't go out. You know, it's just it creates all of these aspects where a lot of people and this is true data that seven in ten people go into debt for a one week vacation you know so mm. they kind of either go into financial difficulty before or they put themselves into debt for after so that they can book that flight and so fly wallet is really here to simplify the process you know like they, okay Gregor, you want to go to bali you know when do you want to go you know do you want to go in three months six months a year two years like when's the time Okay, if you want to book at the best time, which we have this embedded in our product, like you need to save, you know, start saving 150 per month and you'll be able to go uh, to Bali in good financial, uh, in a good financial uh, um, environment, you know, like financially healthy without going broke. And, uh, and what's cool is that the first time you start doing it, you know, like it's, it's joyful planning, you know, your anticipation, you're excited for it, you know, like it's not like stressed, it's like more like, okay, I'm one step closer every month. And um, and that's what makes it really special, uh, is encouraging. It's like Bali is within reach, you know. So you can is go this, to Bali. It sounds like a little bit of a gamified experience. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Gamified experience, is there tokens involved? Uh, yes, uh, of course, like, you know, there is earning... Uh, opportunities on fly wallet um there isn't a fly wallet token yet this is uh you know i don't want to you know make any spoilers uh, yet but we are you know in the process of actually designing you know a uh, a, to a token um, a tokenomics you know of how we can actually make it beneficial for the user but at the same time it's also improving the travel industry you know because tokens fungible or not have the ability to make people uh you know create community create uh yeah of course and loyalty value and you know the travel industry could really benefit from that part of the web three uh the web three stack so it's uh it's a process that we really want to do like you know strong and and efficiently where we can help the travel industry become more user friendly more inclusive more, you know, more adapted to the average traveler, you know, like uh, back then travel used to be a luxury. You had to be, you had to be rich to travel, you know, like, you know, to go on. Yeah. Well, now after uh, the pandemic, it feels like, again, you have to be a rich to travel uh, yeah, having, true, yeah. <laughs> with all of the, all it's of the true. airplane tickets having skyrocketed. Uh, so, uh, so uh, you guys change the process, the initial process, and you allow to pay for the tickets via cryptocurrency, right? So via yep, stable yes, coins. Sir. So how does this how does this happen? Uh, a user goes on the website, inserts a uh, their wallet, and they pay for the ticket. But that ticket is from, for example, like let's say British Airways. You guys purchase the ticket using fiat currency, I imagine. Yeah, exactly. Like this is uh, 
we have a, a great travel agency. We're also a licensed travel agency, so we uh, okay. we're able to book flights directly with um, with the airlines. Uh, however, when a user actually books with their cryptocurrency, um, there is a process for us to be able to transfer those funds to uh, to the airline and uh, fly what it wishes to become that gateway. You know that position okay. itself, where you know airlines can actually see the benefit of. Uh, but we work with stable coins only, Gregor. This is important. Uh, yeah, of course coins. it's important. Yeah, of course it's important uh, for uh, well. <laughs> uh, hopefully, you don't work with too much USDT or US. Uh, so, uh, what was that thing? Uh, that, that, uh, at this time, at this time, we have uh, stable coins USDC and Dai on Polygon, okay. and uh, USDC, um, CUSD, and C Euro on the Celo network. So Polygon okay. and Celo are. Uh, but that's that's also a very interesting concept because right now there is uh, if you wanted to spend your crypto in some way, for example, like for traveling and for your uh, for your ticket, yes, you can get a uh, a credit card and uh, use that. that. Depends on which country you are in. But uh, alternatively, you could just go to Fly Wallet and purchase all of the tickets that you acquire with your current crypto, which I think is uh, really cool. Uh, how long is the process for once I purchase the ticket and once I get my uh, my ticket? Is it immediate? It's is it just, automated? Yeah, yeah. It's automated. Everything is automated. It's immediate. Uh, it's the the booking experience at its core. You know, is uh, the same. You know, uh, it's just the prior. If you want to save, fly what it provides you that service. If you want to just book, you know, it's even faster because. You don't have to take out your credit card, enter your name, the, the date mm. of expiry, you know, the CCV. Mm. Yeah, 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 like, exactly. You, know, you can just connect exactly. your wallet, connect your wallet, exactly. check yeah. out, boom. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. You know, it's, exactly. It's a much, it's a much more smoother and beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, way, way smoother. A much smoother experience. Uh, question. So this is this is really innovative and very interesting. How did you, how and why did you decide to build? This, I mean, this is yeah, this is a very niche down use case. Why? Um, initially, initially, uh, I always, you know, I worked in financial inclusion, you know, uh, public private partnerships where you know yeah. we try and marry uh, profit and impact, you know, uh, and so empowering people financially has been a big topic, you know, uh, for the past decade. We see all of the, you know, all of the neo banks coming out, you know, innovating the banking system, uh, um, supporting communities, yeah, financially, and so, and so I always find that there was a blockage, you know, like uh, people don't really trust banking or credit, you know, like, like for example, just a little say, a little parenthesis, you know, like book now, pay later, you know, is just another uh, buy now, pay later, sorry, is another way of packaging, you know, credit, you know, like it's. It empowers people, but at the end of the day, they're creating credit. You're not really bringing them, um, empowering them to live better lives because let's believe. It. And so, what what inspired me to create Fly Wallet, you know, is that um, it's not about how much you have in your account; it's what you do with the money inside your account. You know, so if I have a thousand dollars, how I'm going to manage that is the same way I'm going to manage ten thousand dollars, you know, or a hundred thousand dollars, and it's just being able to allocate it into instead of it being assets or, you know, experiences, things that are going to empower me to live a better life. And so uh, travel is basically the, the niche that I kind of really wanted to really focus on in terms of no matter your work or your job, you know, if you're able to take your family on a trip once a year, you know, or, you know, twice a year, even better, you're doing your job. You're fulfilling your responsibility. You know, I'm not just saying that, you know, going on vacation is the only thing, you know, about it, but it creates a balance. It creates like a healthy lifestyle that, you know, you're, you know, you're, yeah, you're living a healthy life. So ultimately, you know, you're winning. Like you don't have to say, oh, one day I hope I'll earn, you know, over a hundred K a year, you know, like it's like, oh, with my 50 K a year or, you know, or my 35 K a year, or you, know, or, you know, my 25 K a year, like, you know, um, I can actually put money aside every month. I can take my family on a trip, build memories that last forever, you know, and uh, and kind of like make my reality a bit better than it was yesterday. Um, and like it's on a it's on a deeper level, but that's really why um, 
well, how fly what it was born, you know, instead, instead of empowering people just financially, like directly, we kind of wanted to do it like, you know, with purpose, you know, like directed financial support, uh, like take it one step further. That's very, that's very deep. That's very, very profound and a true, a true noble cause to start a world. I see the, I see the mission. I see how it adds value to the, to the Web3 space. I see how it, how the experience is different, how you guys are changing the experience. I will be actually trying it, uh, trying it myself. Are there, uh, how are you guys getting, uh, getting users and community being in the Web3 in the Web3 space in such a different category than most Web3 kind of uh, companies? Um, well, the cool aspect is uh, the fact that you can book your flights with your token. So that's a great off-ramp, you know, like, you know, it gives utility to, uh, to your tokens, you know, to your, to your, um, or to your yeah, crypto. And so, and so the most successful like as of today, you know, or as of recently, like our most successful, you know, are just acquisition, you know, and is actually collaboration with other projects, you know. So, so for example, business travel, you know, in the Web3 space, uh, let's say rewards um, and, uh, you know, competition uh, prizes, you know, for example, oh, if you, if, you, if you interact with this community or, you know, if you provide insights or you provide the, uh, value you know you can earn a discount on your trip if you pay for your flight with you know uh, usdc or cusd um we're able to gift over you know airdrop some stable coins you know for you to be able to book a flight like we're a great resource to be able to empower all these web3 communities because stacking tokens you know growing tokens is good yeah. but having something you can spend on is, is yeah 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 i understand I, I i perfectly understand so basically all of the metaverse awards ceremonies conventions and events you guys partner with them uh Absolutely. Try, to provide, yep, yep. try to provide the the uh the kind of why because those are the kind of users that have the most that have the most crypto so they would be really interested and would really appreciate a service like like fly wallet uh do you guys uh is it a uh do you connect your own wallet to it or is it a custodial service yeah yeah, yeah. no 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 we were we web it's web three non-custodial decentralization <laughs> if okay. i could have a t if, if i could have a teacher with decentralization like that's my uh i love that concept you know web three like it's really the that's the beauty of it um obviously in terms of adoption but uh but no you have your own wallet um and uh and in the future if you have to create you can maybe create a wallet with fly wallet but it will be non-custodial this is uh, okay yeah. It's extra important. Extra important. You said something really, really cool during what we were talking. That is, you just log in your wallet, you pay for the transaction. You don't need to insert your credit card, mm, uh, yeah. any other information, log in, and so on. It's just uh, kind of very, very quick, very uh, a step yeah. up or an improvement of the current technology that we have right now. Even if I go right now to whatever site I use for booking, even if I have my credit card saved and my credentials saved. Too. Yeah, my pass take your passport. Passport ah. out too. Uh, ah, okay, so. okay, yeah. Well, no, not not with, but you'd have to take your passport out to put your passport number. You know, yeah. like to book a flight. Like yeah. it's very um, the process is just uh, not you know not simple or well, not easy. You know, it's intimidating. You know, for a first time traveler to book a flight, you know, like you you feel like you're signing over your life. You know, and so Web three has the ability to kind of take it a step. You know. Um, yeah, uh, it, a, a different. Give it a different approach, basically. A different approach. So process. yeah, exactly. So I really, I really like that. Uh, have you guys received? Uh, uh, how long have you guys been around? Have you guys? Uh, what is your team, uh, more or less? W w and have you guys received any funding, or are you part of an acceleration program? Um, well, well, it has started in 2018. I've been working on this, like you know, like very inception first version you know like it's it's been an ongoing process uh, you know twist and turns in terms of coming to web3 has been like a, a, you know an amazing uh, journey because it's uh, it's out of utility as i said being globally accessible being inclusive is our core um our core vision 
And so what we enable is that. Um, I apologize for the noise if you can hear that. Um, on the other aspect, uh, our team, we comprised of uh, two co-founders, two engineers uh, that are working you know, on the project uh, full time. And just, um, yes, it's amazing. We're all decentralized, you know, uh, Europe, US, Africa, Latin America. So it's actually literally like completely decentralized. And it's an amazing environment to be able to build in, you know, uh, especially the timing with Web3, um, all the opportunities are there. In terms of funding, we've only received grants as of now. Uh, we're in a pre-seed round, but um, we'll be raising uh, in a, the first quarter of 2022. So I'm building okay. relationships, you know. Uh, I'm very, I'm very, uh, you know, stubborn. I like to protect the vision and the mission that we're going for, you know, uh, because this is about, you know, uh, Web3 is a responsibility and we really have to be able to introduce it, you know, in a very, uh, in a responsible way, you know, but in a, in a positive way, like, uh, you know, use the technology for good and, um, and empower people. And that's how we'll be able to generate, you know, more revenue, more margins, more, more gains. You, know, if, uh, you say again, something, something, uh, yeah, something that strikes, uh, that strikes and that is, uh, that you are focused on the mission and the vision of the company uh, and keeping true to that and kind of in hard times, keeping to the vision and the mission and not maybe because of panicking, pivoting, uh, accepting no. new ideas and, and things like that. And, I, and as a founder, first person, I can tell you that that is hard, but that is also very important. And in the end, uh, it pays off if you're aligned if you if you're aligned with kind of what is what happens in the future so that uh, that's super cool i really got, wish you guys all the best and maybe in uh, in a, some time we can check back in and see uh, see what is happening how the seed round is going and so on i wanted to ask you one one more thing is there anything that uh, we didn't cover today we've talked about how you guys are changing the web 3.0 industry how you are, I think, really cool, changing the process of buying tickets, not just allowing it to be bought with crypto, but actually changing the whole user experience. Uh, what else? Did we forget something? Um, we didn't cover, I didn't mention, like, what also makes us um, unique and working on Web3 is, uh, is amazing, is the ability, the sustainable sustainability aspect of travel um mm. so this is especially especially uh, true for uh the cello blockchain which uh, have been amazing support for the fly wallet project uh, up until today in terms of the things that we can do you know with just value money uh by regenerative finance you know uh of offsetting carbon you know or using um using the planet, you know, as like a, a backup for money is a concept that's so motivating, you know, uh, so inspiring um, that we can actually make that happen. And so how Fly Wallet works on the cello network is that all uh, book flights, you know, offset carbon, you know, automatically. So while you save with the platform, money is going towards uh, offsetting CO2. And Can uh, you uh, uh, ju 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 let, let's just pause right there because I need one one clarification. So I've heard uh, quite a bit about the cell network. I've also uh, know some colleagues that are working on a project on the cell network. I've heard other people working on sustainability projects on the cell network. What is so special about the cell network, and how does this carbon offsetting work? Um, the community in the cell network is uh, is unique. You know. Everyone in the cellular network or cellular community uh, or ecosystem you now believes in a world where money can be beautiful. You know? uh, and just that, like it's, it requires some type of, you know, wisdom, optimism, you know, whatever you may call it. But there's that, you know, um, there's that collective perception, you know, or collective, you know, uh, energy that, uh, that is, uh, is devoted to that, you know. So that's really something that I personally feel is um, is unique about it like it's very motivating to work with founders from that ecosystem because uh, you're really fighting the good fight um and um and to answer your question how 
regenerative finance works. Um, obviously, I'm still learning, you know, I'm still trying to uh, understand more and more every day. But essentially, there's, uh, there's a whole economy of carbon credits, you know, um, which are metric tons of CO2. So let's say I drive my car, I fly a plane, uh, I, you know, I don't know, I, uh, I walk down the street, you know, and I'm, uh, and I'm drinking, you know, I don't know, a milkshake that was made with a, you know, a machine or whatever, but everyone has a carbon footprint. So every day, you know, someone has a carbon emission footprint. And what regenerative finance is basically, regenerative finance's concept is that we're able to basically turn those, that emission, you know, into a token, into a, into a, uh, into a credit. Actually, the credit economy already exists, but then it's bringing it on chain, and on chain enables it to be able to be retired, you know, in a very transparent, you know, and um, an automated way. Um, carbon credits actually exist for a long term, like this way to quantify how much emission is being used. But bring it on chain. This is where the Celo network actually um, is uh, very special, is that enables us to be able to offset them in a transparent way. Like, you know, we're able to know where the emission is going, you know, like, oh, I offset this, this carbon credit, like it's going towards a project that's planting trees, you know, for example, or, you know, it's, uh, it's going towards uh, building, uh, you know, uh, solar panels, like whatever it may be, at least Web3 gives you that uh, transparency to know what's happening, you know, like um, where that money, where the offsets, uh, where the offsets are going. Um, it goes deeper. It goes deeper than that, you know. I'm just really trying to give like global. Uh, yeah. Global the, it's, uh, it's about trust. That's You have opened a, a whole new chapter, basically. So not only are you revolutionizing the way that people, uh, you, the experience of buying the tickets, allowing to use your crypto as well to buy the tickets, but also in the same time, providing or offsetting your carbon footprint, which, uh, which, is, which is just kind of a win-win, a win for everybody. And, uh, and it's amazing. And I think these are, the, these are the new whole new concepts of Web3 and pioneers like yourself that, uh, that are bringing to, I'm super grateful to, uh, are, th these are going to be the technologies of the future, no doubt, because the value that they provide is undoubtedly far, far greater than what we have than what we have today. I think also we are just scratching the surface basically on, on, on kind right. of what is possible. And also I'm sure once there is going to be bigger user adoption and more integration between services and a better infrastructure and more knowledge about different Web3 platforms and also an upgraded probably version of Celo and all of these other networks, things are going to be much, much better integrated and uh, yeah, and it's just going to be a great, a great ecosystem that I'm really excited about being being part of. So, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for taking some time to do this interview with me. Oh, I want to yeah. really thank you for kind of bringing, shining some light into this whole new area that I didn't completely, completely did not, uh, for, didn't know existed or didn't know that this there could be value in this area of Web 3.0. So thank you for that. I'm sure the listeners have appreciated this as well. I will leave all of the information regarding Fly Wallet uh, down in the description below. So for anybody that is interested in purchasing a ticket using Fly Wallet and also using crypto and also having a completely transformed user experience while purchasing the ticket, might be really interesting to check it out. So I will be checking it out in first person. That is, that, that's for sure. So Thomas, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, appreciate what you're doing. You know, and uh, looking forward to speaking soon. Awesome. And thank you, everybody, for listening. And I will see you in another episode of The People Ask About Web 3.